Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today I'm going to be creating some home decor pieces that I saw online that were a little bit too out of my price range and I wanted to create them for less. This is a part of the Look for Less Challenge which I will tell you about here shortly. So for my first challenge piece I'm going to be making the small version of this ceramic pocket vase which online is $59.99 and I knew I could make it for less with some air dry clay. So for my version of these ceramic pocket vases I am using this air dry clay in the color terracotta because I thought it would work really well to match um, how the original pocket vases were with the darker detail around the edges. So I'm just taking it and kind of warming it up a little bit in my hands. Mine's kind of hard. It's probably over a year old now. Um, so I really had to work at it. And I, because this terracotta color is very pigmented, it gets all over your hands, all over surfaces and stuff. I didn't want it to stain my rolling pin. So I'm putting some parchment paper over the clay. It does wash off really easy, but I didn't want to take any chances that it would ruin my rolling pin. So sorry for the shaky camera. <laughs> I was really putting some strength behind this to get it to flatten. And I'm making the smaller version only because that's all I had left in the clay because I do another clay project here. Um, here shortly. I do want to go back and make the bigger one too because I think they would look so cute hanging together on the wall. So after I got it flattened finally I just went ahead and freehanded what I wanted um, like the size I wanted the little ceramic vase to be. And this air dry clay is really easy to work with. I've never used another brand but this brand is pretty good. Can you see what I'm talking about? Look at my table. I just had to take some um, some like Dawn dish soap and a sponge and it came right up, but you can see it on my hands too. But this is the top layer and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom layer and just flatten it out and make it around the same size as the other one. And I can't remember how much this air dry clay is because like I said, I got it last year. I'll put the price up here in the corner just so you can kind of compare what my price to make one of these is to what it would be to buy them online. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy what you see and consider subscribing. I would love to have you join our YouTube family. We have a lot of fun over here. So I just um, took my two pieces and put the prettiest sides or what I thought were the prettier sides um, facing out. I liked the little wrinkles, so I'm going to leave those. And for this, I'm just adding a grocery bag in the center because I want something in the center just to um, keep it pooched out like a pocket <laughs> as it dries because I didn't want it to lay flat you know, on t and stick to the um, bottom piece. You can use whatever you have here. Just make sure when you're done sealing the edges that it's going to be easy to pull out once the clay dries. <laughs> so I just went around the edges just as you would like a pie crust and sealed it together. You wanna push kinda hard because you wanna make sure they're going to stay together after it dries. And before I sealed it all the way up on the other side, I went ahead and pulled the bag out um, most of the way or all the way and then put it back in just because I wanted to make sure it wasn't pinched in between the two pieces. And this is what it looks like so far. Kind of rustic. <laughs> so I put down some parchment paper. Just, I don't know, I didn't want to ruin the table. Not that it would, because like I said, it's easy to wash up, but I wanted to be able to kind of spin it around so I could work on it a little bit better too. So I just took a paintbrush and um, made a good size hole in the top corner piece because this is where we're going to put the rope. And then just slide it through and then do a little knot, kind of like the picture. And don't worry about it if your clay breaks as you're working on it. Um, as you can see mine, I end up going back to fix it and um, reinforce it a little bit with a little bit thicker pieces of clay. 
And then I did the same thing on the other side. I just really liked the wrinkles in it. It made it look more like a pocket. <laughs> see, as you can see, I broke it as I was trying to get the rope through. And I'm leaving the rope in as the clay dries because I didn't want the hole to like shrink up or change shape as it was drying and then the rope not be able to fit through. So here I'm just taking extra pieces of clay and reinforcing the edges so that, you know, it doesn't break. And I'm only going to be using, um, you know, like dried flowers or fake florals in here. So I'm not worried about the weight at all. I just want to make sure that the rope is going to, um, or the clay is going to be able to hold the rope after it's dried. And then just pinch it like you did in the beginning. And I just wanted to show you this is what it looked like outside as I was working on this. I thought it was so pretty. I'm really done with winter because it's so, so cold. Like this morning, it was, I think they said negative four, but it still looks pretty. I just like to be able to go outside. <laughs> Okay, anyway, back to our project. So this is the next day and it is all dry and the um, bag was easy to pull out and we still have our little pocket. So I'm just taking some of my, um, my light beige colored paint so that it was similar to the picture. It doesn't have to be perfect or exactly the same. Whatever you want it to be, you're just taking um, the simple idea of the piece and recreating it so that it fits your style. And obviously for less, because who doesn't like saving money? The original has like a really cool texture to it, which mine doesn't have, but this is what it looks like all finished after I was done painting it up. Well, let me know what you guys think and if it's something you're going to recreate. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Look for Less Challenge. This is hosted by my very sweet friend Yami from the Latina Next Door. She's had this challenge going for years. She took a short break, but I'm so happy it's back. And I was so happy when she messaged me saying that it was coming back because this was one of my all-time favorites when I first started YouTube. So be sure to check her channel out when you're done watching my video. I will also link the playlist in my description box. So be sure to go check that out. So you get tons of inspiration for home decor that looks amazing for less. So for my next one, I'm going to be recreating this wooden bowl from Pottery Barn that was originally $179. And I am going to be recreating mine for $399. This had a similar shape and look to it, I thought. Um, so I'm going to do my best to make it look similar. It's not exactly the same shape, but kind of. And that's what we're going for. So I'm taking the florals out. This um, came with it from Goodwill. I think they're really pretty and um, almost real looking. And I found this receipt in here. It was from 1991. It seems so long ago, but not really. So anyway, I am just shaking out the stuff that was inside and I'm going to pop off the price tag and also these embellishments around the outside. And I think when you're out thrifting or at garage sales and stuff, you really have to look at pieces and look beyond maybe um, parts of it that you don't like and look at the basic shape or um, color of something and maybe just look at it for a while, seeing what you can create with it or um, you know, how you could use it in your home decor just changed up a little bit to match your style. So and the glue wasn't coming off very easy. So I'm taking my hair dryer and just warming it up a little bit and it made it a lot easier to come up. I do have a, um, a heat gun now, which I'm really excited to use. I got it from um, my in-laws for Christmas. But I didn't want to use it on this piece because this is actually like a kind of like paper material. It's not ceramic. So I was really afraid to see what it would do to this. <laughs> so that's why I used my hair dryer. But anyway, it came off really nice. And all I had to do was sand down some of the pieces that didn't come off. And then I'm just wiping it off. 
and letting it dry and then I'm just going to take these two paints that I got and the um, this one is a gloss which I didn't want the finish to be gloss so I'm going to add a little bit of um, plaster of Paris but I wanted to show you up close the wooden bowl has a lot of different colors in it like darker browns and tans and stuff so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing and I didn't measure this I just added a little bit I just wanted it to be um, a more matte finish and then I just painted kind of over the whole thing not like a really solid coat because like I said, I wanted different colors to pop through. So if you're new here, let me know in the comments below um, what kind of DIYs or decor you like to see in videos, you know, what you would like to learn, or I don't know, maybe tell me some things that you could teach me so that I could learn. I love learning about new DIY channels and stuff. Um, so yeah, just pop in and say hi and let me know what your favorite decor style is and what you would like to see. And also, are you more of a neutral fan? Do you like seeing pops of color in your decor? Um, yeah, just what's your favorite? So sorry, I talked all through that. I just went ahead and layered my paints going from lightest to darkest and I ended up with this dark brown paint and just splashed it all over and then kind of brushed over it so it was kind of streaky. And this is what the bowl looks like all finished. Let me know what you think of this one. And for this last one, I'm using more of that air dry clay to make this wood bead garland that I saw on Pottery Barn's site. They are asking $99 and I am recreating mine for a lot, lot less. Like I said, I will post up here maybe in the corner if I can find out um, how much these, um, these tubs were. I've had them for a long time, so I can't remember, but it's definitely cheaper than $99. <laughs> so I'm just turning these into... Um, little balls. They don't have to be perfect. But I ended up doing a whole bunch of them, which they're fun to play with. And I'm using a skewer stick and just poking a hole right through the center of each of the beads or each of the um, balls. This is where we're going to thread our twine through. I've done something similar to this, um, I think last year, but they were a lot more rustic and um, I think I did two-toned colors and I also did an ornament garland too. I can post that up in the cards if you want to see that. So I'm putting them one on the skewer rod to poke the hole in the center, but also it makes it so much easier to spray paint them when they're all together like this. So I am taking this Rust-Oleum spray paint in smoky beige. I thought it was similar to the color that was on Pottery Barn's site. And I just had to give them one good coat on each side. And then after this, I just let them dry and then took the skewer rod, flipped it over, and then spray painted them at all different angles. And that's all it took. And then I'm just taking the twine and I'm going to do a little bit, a little loop like they have in the picture after I struggled to get them off the skewer sticks. You want to make sure after you get them on to kind of play around with them a little bit as they're drying so that they don't get stuck on there. <laughs> I ended up doing um, a double thickness of the twine to thread through the balls just because I think it felt a little bit sturdier and you can even sand down those um, little peaks on the balls but I didn't it didn't really bother me to have them there I thought they added a little bit of character so I just went ahead and threaded them on and then here's my little puppy <laughs> not a puppy anymore she's my little tripod puppy 
I know a lot of people ask how she's been doing. She's doing pretty good. She's decided she's not liking her dog food, so we're having to experiment. And right now I'm cooking for her, so... <laughs> And here is the bead garland all finished. Let me know what you guys think of these projects. Don't forget to check out Yami's channel and also the playlist listed in my description box. And like I said, if you're new here, pop in the comments and say hi. Let me know what your favorite decor style is. And also, I would love for you to join our YouTube family. Thanks so much, guys. Sending you hugs and love. And I'll see you next time. Bye.